Hi everybody, it's the Intuitive Healer, and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Capricorn. So let's go ahead and tune your energy, Capricorn. Alright, for those of you stopping by for the very first time, welcome to my channel. And for those of you already part of the Intuitive Healer Tarot family, well, welcome back, my lovelies. And so today we have the number 41 card with the heaven and earth. We also have our golden Atlantean dragon here, uh, which helps you to remember the wisdom of golden Atlantis. It also is to help you awaken and bring back your knowledge, your gifts, and your talents. So, it is you reclaiming your mastery. So, pulling a couple cards here, let's get into a different headspace. You know, um, I think Capricorn that this is the time for you to really start recognizing yourself for who you truly are versus who you think you are and so this is just kind of a little reminder uh, to let you know that you are on the right path you know it says as above shall below well that is a total you know i say definition of you know where you're at in time and in space and so you know with that being said there is this significant energy here that talks about you, you know, awakening to a higher truth, to a higher understanding. So when we move into our first card, it says dwelling in truth. It says, I stand in the light of truth. And so for that reason, there is this urgency to really be, you know, in your higher truth, to be called to a higher truth. And you know, I, I feel like a lot of things are kind of formulating around you and really creating a space where you can, you know, honestly, well, persevere towards your greatest dreams ever. So our next card here is hearing messages from spirit. It says, I'm a clear channel for messages from spirit. So thank you, spirit. All right. Being in the flow is our next card. Here it says, I am in the flow of the universe. So really positive healing here. Lots of alignment, lots of knowing, lots of gathering information at this time, Capricorn, because you've realized that there are parts and pieces of you that you really need to let go of. And so letting go is surrendering, uh, surrendering joyously to the ebbing and the flowing of life. And, you know, for that reason, there is this urgency to push forward. There is this urgency of where am I headed? What direction am I, you know, headed? Like what kind of path am I headed on? And what, you know, am I going to expect in the next few months, you know, moving through this transition and really being in flow? Because you are dwelling in your higher self right now. You know, you are moving with the rhythm of the river instead of, you know, going against the current. And so I think that that's what's really positive energy. It's really showing you where to go at this time. All right, so let's go ahead and pull some more cards. Thank you, Spirit, for the messages. All right, we have taking action. It says, I enthusiastically embrace life's boundless possibilities. So again, lots of positivity here, lots of understanding. Look at this, and you are stepping into your truth. You are stepping into that powerful space for which you reside. It says, I step into my power boldly and confidently. So again, like I said, there is this coming to terms as to who you are. And I think that's what's pushing you forward. So let's go ahead and get some more messages here from Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Blessed be. It is done. All right. We have expecting miracles. So miracles are blossoming in my life. Well, of course they are because you've let go. You're in the flow of things. You are 
you know, moving to a higher calling. All right, so let's go ahead and keep going here. We have savoring pleasure. It says, I fully embrace bliss in my life. Well, of course you do, because that's all you have right now. You know, you are experiencing those higher versions of yourself. You are experiencing some ancient wisdom. Let's pull some more cards here to get a little bit more clarification. Thank you, Spirit, for all of your messages. All right, we have two coming out here. The first one is manifesting your dreams. It says, my dreams are coming true. Well, of course they are because you've let go and now, you know, you want to be at service to others. It says, my inner light shines far and wide. So you are allowing that perseverance. You are allowing yourself to, you know, emerge into grace. It says, I open my soul to grace. So let's get into what the love looks like in regards to, you know, your messages here. All right, so let's go ahead and pull from our lover's oracle here and see what we have in store for Capricorn. And masters, angels, and guides, please guide us to the correct and highest messages for the sign of a Capricorn in regards to love. Please and thank you. All right, we have a few coming out here. The first one says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is deep as the ocean. Then our next card here is forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your re reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. It says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you've shared with those you love. Last one here. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Never, Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. So again, like I said, very beautiful energy here moving in regards to your higher self, the highest direction of where you need to be. All right, we just have a couple to pop out here. It says, look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. So I'm thinking that you're in a higher state of awareness right now. You've got some really good business opportunities that are coming in. You are tuning into a higher frequency and things are starting to show themselves, you know, for all the perseverance and all the action and all, I'd say the blood, sweat and tears that you did in the past, now that abundance is coming in. All right, it says, secret admirer, someone has deeper feelings for you than, you're, than they're letting on. All right, for those of you that are in a current partnership, it's just gonna get better. And for those of you that aren't in a partnership, well, somebody's got their eye on you. And so because of that, well, there's some new love coming in here. So be hopeful, keep going with the flow of things and honor yourself, Capricorn, because you are in that higher space. All right, so if you guys would like to go a little bit deeper into this reading, all of my information's down there in that description box below on how to book a reading with me. I will be giving things away during fall solstice. So make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure that you're commenting below so that you will be entered into my drawing for some smudge sticks, some tarot cards, some essential oils, and things to keep your vibration high. So thank you so much for allowing me to do your reading and always know that you have the ability to have free choice. Things can shift by way of your free choice. So make the right choices that are best for your life and always go into things feeling first. Thank you so much, Capricorn. I love you guys. Namaste.